God bless Herschel Walker. I want everyone here to look around this tent. We got over 3,000 people gathered here tonight. We got the men and women of Georgia rising up and saying to the Marxists that are trying to destroy this country, hell no. Walker is winning this race. And I want to tell the men and women of Georgia, the eyes of the country are upon you. The odds are high that control of the Senate will be decided by the men and women of Georgia. And I'll tell you what has happened in Washington over the last two years. They've managed to screw everything up. The stakes in this race could not be higher. If you look at the last two years, Inflation, yes. out of control. Prices of everything through the roof. Price of food, skyrocketing. Price of health care. Price of electricity. Price of rent. Price of lumber. Price of mortgages. Price of gasoline. Look, it's so bad, Antifa can't afford bricks. the police, George Soros DAs letting murderers go in our community. I'm here to tell you right now, the men and women of Georgia, support the brave men and women in law enforcement. The chaos at our southern border, I'll tell you, being from the state of Texas, it has never been as bad as it is right now. 4.7 million illegal immigrants have crossed under Joe Biden. And the Democrat Party supports it. And they want it. In fact, you're not allowed to use the term illegal immigrant. There's a new politically correct term. Undocumented Democrat. And I'll tell you, in Texas, I've been down to the border a lot. I've gone out on midnight patrol with the Border Patrol agents. A few years ago, we went out, went to a stash house. They kicked open the door of the stash house. They brought out some big, scary guys. Big guys tatted up. The agents are all calling over, going, Senator, Senator, come over here. I'm going, Ick stay on the Anderson. Just call me Bob. 
few months ago, I brought seven senators down to the border. We went out on midnight patrol. You don't have to look for people crossing illegally. They find you. Within minutes, they find you. Women, children. Border Patrol agents pointed us to a patch of grass where a few weeks earlier they found two little girls aged five and six who had been brutally sexually assaulted by human traffickers. They had to give emergency medical care to those little girls. That is happening every single day. And the Democrats and the corrupt corporate media, they do not care at all. Until arrived in Martha's Vineyard. And suddenly, the white bread, lily-livered, hypocritical, socialist billionaires discovered we had a crisis. You know, Everything that could go wrong for the country under Democrats in the last two years has gone wrong. And I want to right now give a shout out to an elderly woman who's relied on government transportation to get to and from work, who now finds herself out of a job, and Nancy Pelosi doesn't know what to do with herself. the job done, and we flipped the house. On November 6th, we're getting the other half done, and we're flipping the Senate. And i got to tell you, there is no state in the union with a bigger divide between their senator and the values of the state. That's right. Look, Raphael Warnock, you know, Herschel and I were sitting down at a barbecue restaurant a few weeks back having lunch. Actually, the depressing thing is I was having lunch. Herschel doesn't eat lunch, which is why he's a Hall of Famer. And I'm a lawyer. But we were talking over barbecue. And we observed the simple dynamic. Democrats win when they lie effectively. And Republicans win when we tell the truth effectively. Now why is that? The reason is simple, because our values are the values of the people of Georgia and the values of this country. I want you to think of the ads Raphael Warnock is running. He's running ads all over Georgia saying, well, you know, I teamed up with Ted Cruz. To pass legislation building a new freeway. And I'll tell you what, that is actually right. It was the Cruz Warnock bill. I introduced it, I wrote it, he joined on board, and we passed it. But what's interesting is he didn't mention the stuff he's done. He didn't mention his record. He didn't mention that he voted to send stimulus checks to every single illegal, illegal alien in America. <laughs> Raphael Warnock didn't mention that he voted to send stimulus checks to criminals in jail. <laughs> Raphael Warnock didn't mention that he voted in favor of school shutdowns all across this country. He didn't mention that he voted in favor of COVID vaccine mandates and the government forcing you to take a vaccine against your will. Let me tell you, I forced a vote on the Senate floor that said that the FBI should not target parents, not target moms and dads as domestic terrorists for speaking up at school boards. 
Raphael Warnock voted no, and he said send the G-men after the moms and dads. I forced a vote on the Senate floor and said the D.C. public schools should not enforce a COVID vaccine mandate that would throw out of school 40% of the African-American kids in the D.C. public schools. Raphael Warnock voted no to throw out of school 40% of the black kids in D.C. And look, this really underscores something. In a race like this, the Democrats, they don't talk about what Herschel believes. They don't talk about what he'll stand for. What they try to do is they try to smear his character. They try to go nasty, they try to go personal, they try to go vicious, because they cannot defend their record. Let me tell you what's happened under Democrat school shutdowns. Our kids' reading scores have plummeted. Our kids' math scores have plummeted. And the racial gap, the gap between white kids and black kids on their testing scores, last year grew by the biggest amount in the history of our country. That's what happens when Democrats are in charge. Yeah. But here's the good news. The people of Georgia don't want any more of that. The people of Georgia don't believe in the radical policies bankrupting this country. So I want to make an invitation today. I want to make an invitation. we got a whole bunch of TV cameras, so I'd like to make an invitation to President Joe Biden. Joe Biden, come to Georgia. Joe Biden, come campaign alongside Raphael Warnock. I'm going to make another invitation. Kamala Harris, come to Georgia. Kamala Harris, come campaign alongside Raphael Warren. I'm going to make another invitation. Stacey Abrams. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm actually supposed to call her Governor Stacey Abrams. Come to Georgia. Come campaign alongside Raphael Warren. And by the way, while we're at it, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, come to Georgia. Come campaign alongside Raphael Warnock. And you know what? None of them will do it. Because the people of Georgia don't believe in the garbage that they're putting in place. And Raphael Warnock is lockstep with them and Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and every other whack job in Washington. And by the way, I want to talk a minute to regular people in Georgia. Because you know, the media will say, well, look, if you're middle of the road, if you're moderate, then you want to vote for, for the Democrats. There ain't nothing moderate about people that shut down schools and shut down churches. There ain't nothing moderate about people that vote to confirm radicals who want to abolish the police like Raphael Warnock has. There ain't nothing moderate about using the FBI to target parents. There ain't nothing moderate about voting for open borders over and over and over again like Raphael Warnock has. There ain't nothing moderate about voting against school choice and voting against the kids of Georgia like Raphael Warnock has over and over again. And there ain't nothing moderate about voting to confirm radical judges who'll take away our free speech, our religious liberty, and our Second Amendment. The people of Georgia are going to elect Herschel Walker because we're going to defend the Bill of Rights. 
the people of Georgia are going to elect Herschel Walker because we're going to defend our liberty. And I'll tell you, in January, I look forward to walking down the hallway in the Capitol with Herschel. And we're going to bump into a little man in overalls carrying a screwdriver coming to change the sign on Chuck Schumer's door. And these radical Democrats who have sold the people of Georgia down the river are going to be out of a job. Let me say one other thing. Look, the people of Georgia, you guys know Herschel Walker. Yeah. Herschel Walker, the greatest college football player ever to play the game. Yeah. Herschel Walker is beloved in the state of Georgia. Yeah. And you know what? Herschel Walker didn't have to do this. There's an old line that politics is Hollywood for ugly people. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I appreciate the kind sentiments, but buy me dinner first. All right. But listen, Herschel Walker, before this got started, he wasn't fake famous like politics. He was real famous. He had life. As a gridiron god, where he's rich, famous, beloved, and he made a decision, a knowing decision he didn't have to. He looked at what was happening in this country, and he said, the country I love is in crisis. Our freedoms are at risk. And Herschel and Julie, they went in with eyes open. They knew the Democrats would lie about him. They knew the media would lie about him. They knew they would attack his family. They knew they would demonize him. And he stood up and said, I don't care. I will answer the call. I will stand and fight. For the people of Georgia. I want to say to everyone in Georgia on December 6th, Come out and vote. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your neighbors, bring your dog. Your dog can't vote, but if your dog's cute enough, someone might come out and vote too. Everyone in Georgia, look, the people of Texas are asking for your help. The people of this country are asking for your help. You have the chance to save this country, and the rest of the country is waiting on you. And I want to say to everyone else that's not in Georgia, the Democrats are fixing to spend a hundred million dollars smearing and sliding Herschel Walker. Please come right now to TeamHerschel.com. 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 By the end of it, Herschel needs to be like Lindsey Graham. He needs to legally change his name to LindseyGraham.com. But don't go there. Go to TeamHerschel.com. And get five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars. Whatever you can. Thirty-four. Thirty-four dollars. Or three hundred and forty dollars. Or three thousand four hundred dollars. Because I'm here to tell you right now, we're gonna win. Georgia is going to win for America. And so I give you my friend, I give you a man with courage, a man who has dotted into the fight, a man who knows what it's like to be in overtime. And the Democrats can't tackle this man because they can't stop him when he's running forward for the people of Georgia. I give you your next senator, the great Herschel Walker.